Okay, where do we go from here? <laughs> I guess I mean, I've, I've watched it a lot and I've listened a lot, but I've not done it, and that's different. Yeah, the, the doing of it is different. Um, I don't know. I mean, did you like this weekend? Did you hear anything that made sense in terms of the the stuff about AIDS? Or about me? Yeah, that about you re AIDS? that you related to. No, because or, it, well, maybe a little bit, but not a lot. There's, not a lot. there's no, there weren't that many people here that it was mostly fives. Yeah, some of the stuff about five, uh, the reference to fives. Mm -hmm. I recently found out when I was on in Mexico in January, I was doing some reading and found out there's a strong connection to fives, mm -hmm. which I hadn't realized before. I never paid much attention to. And then I could see that both in the positive and the negative. That there have been uh, that there have been times. Although the negative people would never, probably most people would never see or really recognize or not, they keep that private. not suspect, yeah, because yeah. it's a, an isolating thing right. anyway. Yeah. yeah. But I do tend toward depression, so when I tend toward depression, mm -hmm. it goes with that. I tend to, I was reading about fives and I thought, oh, yo, that's classic. And I mm -hmm. climb in the foxhole and pull a tarp over myself and mm -hmm. tell everybody to go away or, you know. Now, I don't know if it's positive or negative. I like to sometimes I just like if I don't take a lot of vacation time. So vacation time for me sometimes is a day or two days here or one day here or something like that. But occasionally to get away from everything, I'll just I'll kind of withdraw, but not melancholy withdrawal, and then read. Right. Right. And yeah. spend a lot of time with books. Yeah. And study. And that's always a pleasure, but I don't do it enough. Or it depends on the mood. <clears throat> so that's but but no I didn't hear a lot this weekend it was kind of really for my personality I think it was all a little bit foreign it was like speaking Russian mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know I couldn't relate to it we were out at lunch and we were talking and after you told people that I was an eight you know I they were kind of curious and uh, it, some of the problems that I run in against all the t uh, run up against all the time you know came up I, express myself, I say one thing, they hear something else. Mm -hmm. I never know if it's, is that me or is that them. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times I've found out it's them. They're looking at it from their world view, and I'm speaking from my world view, and they're not the same. Right. Now, I recognize that when I talk to other people, but if they're not real familiar with this type of thing, the Enneagram, or I think any personality thing, they don't recognize that. Well, they may not recognize it anyway, you know, yeah. but, or, but does it, do you mean that when you when you talk to some people you, that you miscommunicate, like they get something entirely different than you meant, that happens a lot. Yeah, it does. Or they, yeah, I, I, that's what. Yes, definitely. I mean, I'll say something, but I'll be saying it in a way that makes sense to me, but doesn't to them. Then they have to try to figure it out, mm -hmm. and they come up with the wrong answer. Because there, there, the, there's a thing in communication theory, uh, a saying that, that where they say. The meaning of your communication is a response that you get. Yeah, and definitely. Almost like you know, if I'm, if I know what I mean, and I'm talking to you about what I mean, and you don't get it, it's um, to some degree my doing that you don't get it, right. or that the response I get of bafflement or bewilderment or alienation is actually the response I get. That's the effect of my communication, whether I intended it to be or not. Just speaking about the Enneagram in general, I mentioned the fact that I don't type people. I, I never, I, I shouldn't say I never do it because my wife will say sometimes I do it, but the only time I do it is if I'm having a real hard time communicating with somebody mm -hmm. or understanding somebody or I'm having a problem. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go back and I might think about it in terms of what they are so that I can better, where am I going wrong? Right. But most of the time I have a pretty good intuitive sense of what a person's about. So I don't think about it. I mean, I just react to the person as they are, accept them as they are, uh, good, bad, ugly, pretty, you know, indifferent, I, <clears throat> whatever it happens to be. And I mentioned this, and someone said, well, it was kind of a flaw in my character that I wasn't analyzing them, that I couldn't, that I couldn't progress because I, and that wasn't what I was saying. So they were taking the Enneagram to a, I think kind of an extreme or a level that, it, that I don't like. They were being more pathological or yeah. everything you say, oh, that's just like an eight or... No, oh, it wasn't that way. It was, 
the fact that I didn't care what they, they interpreted that I didn't care what the personality type, the Enneagram type was, therefore I didn't care what the person was like, right. which wasn't what I was saying. That's right. Yeah, because you were saying that actually on another level, you had yeah. a, both a sense of acceptance about them and also a, a kind of intuition about who they were and right. that arrived before you ever thought about it. Yeah.